I'm very pleased to see so many friends, uh, many of them I had a collaboration for 30 years plus, so it's actually just a big pleasure to see them all. Yeah, of course we needed to have a topic and we said uh, I have been in charge of the Department of Oral Surgeon now for 20 years. So we said, why don't we talk about the progress in implant over the last 20 years? And I think this is of high interest because we have seen a lot of developments and that's why we have chosen that topic. Uh, when I look at the milestones, I would say in the beginning, uh, end of the 80s, the move into bone augmentation procedures to overcome uh, the situation that we couldn't place implants, also local bone deficiencies, GBR technique, sinus elevation technique, and of course over the years this technique has been improved substantially. Then in the mid-90s, uh, a paradigm shift, very strong paradigm shift from the micro, uh, the smooth to the micro rough surface. SLA of course being the leader in that field, and this was a significant improvement to reduce the healing periods and to improve the long-term outcomes of implants. Then in the early 2000s, I would say the big, big progress was the imaging progress with Combeam technology, CBCT that gave us a much better insight in local anatomies. And of course, it was also the basis of digital technology because we cannot do digital dentistry without a three-dimensional radiograph and that was uh, tremendous. And last but not least, of course, now lately, the last 10 years, uh, the digital transformation in our field, this is a very strong trend. Uh, we are just seeing the, the, uh, the onset uh, in private practice and we will see how far we go, but it will be very, very interesting and will be very exciting to see that. I think the, the, the biggest progress will be in the prosthetic field. CAT cam technology, uh, it will give us a chance to reduce the expenses for uh, the dental te technical work because that can be a problem. Uh, that is one. And then of course in the surgical field, it will help us in certain patients to reduce invasiveness, uh, to improve uh, the reduction in, in morbidity. Uh, and there we will see how far it will go. It will not replace the brain of the surgeon. So brain-guided surgery will be combined with computer-assisted surgery. But I think the, the future is bright. Uh, we need now good clinical studies to show what works. Eh? Because there is a lot of hype in the moment, a lot of promises from industry. And we just have to be on the safe side and do the homework in that field. And ITI will take the lead, I'm sure to uh, then tell the membership uh, when can you move into that field. I think uh, we're going to see uh, improvements in uh, the, let's say, in the morbidity point. So we can offer much less invasive procedures. That will be a future. But I think also the main, the main efforts we have to do will be in the educational field. Uh, we see an increase in uh, complications because non-qualified colleagues are doing implant surgeries uh, and therefore we need to really spend a lot of efforts to educate the young generation. Another one is a very strong trend for, from my point of view and we just heard uh, Dr. Meinberg to talk about it, you see, that, uh, that uh, we're going to see that the hybrid designed implants will become much more important because we need in the crestal area, we need a machine surface to reduce the risk of uh, plaque accumulation, biofilm attachment. So I think, uh, I hope that the industry will help us to get more hybrid designed implants in that field. So, uh, the, my successor uh, will most likely be uh, Professor Shapley. I'm very happy about this decision because she's very capable. First of all, she's an excellent surgeon, so she will maintain the quality of surgical skills. And then, of course, she will have to find younger colleagues uh, to appetize them to stay in academics so we can uh, then bring the next generation of young, of young colleagues into an academic uh, career, you see. So uh, I have no doubts that this will uh, function very well. I will be in the background to help whenever needed 
but of course uh, the show must go on and she will be in charge of it.